David Morgan, the former uh, Chief Executive of Westpac back in November 2007, clearly heralded the bank's intent when he announced at his retirement speeches that wealth management, in fact, was the greatest opportunity for banks in his whole lifetime as a banker. And just as today, that when a change in interest rates grabs headlines and talks about collusion between the banks and is jumped upon quickly by all the shock jocks, Similar regard and similar reporting is not given to a change in wealth management rates. But we challenge today that the banks are making significant profits from the wealth management rates they're charging every Australian on their superannuation balances. And it's whilst it's nowhere near what they're making still on loans, it's fast approaching a greater proportion of the bank's profitability. Thanks to Keating and Hawke 21 years ago when they introduced compulsory super, we now have the world's fourth largest funds management industry in the world still predominantly based upon supply of financial products, investment products, not the supply of advice. The banks are not going to let go quickly of their stronghold of the financial services market and the financial product market associated with it. Unfortunately, therefore, I'm expecting a significant watering down of the future of financial advice as the banks lobby for the status quo to maintain. And whilst the advice industry needs to grow and develop amongst this environment, it'll be a struggle. It does give true advisors, giving true advice without any regard for product, a great opportunity to stand out and differentiate, as the banks more and more tightly will have to learn how to fight what I will call the BIP war, pricing on uh, basis points rather than simply pricing on products. These are the best of times to be building great advice firms. If you'd like more information on the evolving advice industry, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button above. Or alternatively, if you want a lot more information on articles and blogs that I regularly post, go across to jimstackpool.com. I look forward to seeing you there.